Dickinson made the double-A football playoffs as the number four seed last year. The Midgets would like to improve that seeding and go a little farther this fall. JT Faribault went to the Queen City for our preseason preview. Last season, Dickinson High went 6-2 and two against double-A teams, finishing at the top of the West Region standings. The Midgets are hoping to carry much of last year's success over into this new season. Yeah, you know, I think it started a lot with the leadership that we had. Um, our, our group of seniors um, really set a, a, a standard in the off season. You know, I, I think that we knew that we had a good group coming back and, and some uh, and some underclassmen I th that you know could contribute. And uh, I, th I just thought that they really set a good standard um, that our seniors this year, um, you know, continue to carry on. And I thought we had really good numbers this year too. So you know, we're hoping for hoping for the same outcome. Two of those returning leaders are all staters, Tristan Stall. Ellsworth and Malachi Medina. The, our, our seniors last year, they did a good job with everyone. They weren't worried about themselves. They focused on everyone else, and that's what brought us together, and that's what helped with a lot of our games that we won was just being together as a squad. We held each other accountable, and that's what helped with a lot of our games. So if we can continue that this year, I think it's going to lead to a lot of success. You have to be intense. You have to be ready to play. You can't let them come and show you who's ready to play. You have to go and show them that you're ready to play and you're ready to make plays and ready to win. It's a young gun that will be stepping into a big role at quarterback for the Midgets this year. His name? Nate Stevenson. He'll be starting quarterback for us. He's going to be a sophomore. He was our backup last year uh, as a freshman um, and he's done a good job. He's got a great arm and he's a smart kid. The biggest thing that he brings as a sophomore right now is his work ethic and his leadership, right? And that's things you don't normally see out of a sophomore. He's, he's just a natural leader. Guys gravitate to him, and, and he's done a good job for us so far this, this fall. The Midgets suit up on Friday to face Grand Forks Red River on the road. In Dickinson, I'm JT Faribault reporting for your news leader.